This is the interior review of the 25 FKBS Flagstaff Microlite made by Forest River. As you enter the RV, you have a big closet. And these shelves can come out and you can make it into a coat closet. This has been really good. We have been able to fit all our tools down here and cleaning supplies. And we've made it into a shoe closet. Under here is our suburban furnace. Very easy to um, access in case um, something goes wrong. I just turned her on a couple days ago. She's working very well. Uh, to the right, at the entrance, we have uh, put the um, the fire extinguisher higher up to give more space at the entrance. All the controls are right here. I have just turned the hot water heater electrical. This is the heater um, gas. I turned it a couple days ago. It works just fine. Um, down here, uh, if you are boondocking or dry camping, you just fill up your fresh water tank and you use your water pump. And over here, if you're camping where it's very cold and um, stuff can get frozen, you will uh, turn on your tank heater. These are the awnings uh, control. Uh, it works fine. It does have a Wi-Fi uh, in the roof. You can use that. Uh, uh, we have all the uh, one control over here and you install the app on your phone and you can control the, the awning and uh, the lights, the outside lights and the in, inside lights. Um, over here at the slides, we have uh, two slides, slide one and slide two, which is uh, the bedroom and uh, the living room slide. Uh, over here, so you turn on all the lights and you turn the lights off or on. These are the porch lines, the only and the step lights. Um, the stove is a three uh, burner stove uh, very good we 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 used it uh, not too much because we used to cook outside a lot the weather has been very good um, the oven uh, we used it a couple times uh, we baked some muffins uh, works good underneath you have storage for your uh, bigger uh, frying pans and maybe uh, baking uh, pans. Um, up here, we did uh, install a spice rack. Um, up here, we have a paper towel dispenser, which is pretty hidden away. You, you, you don't see it from too much from the living room. Up here, you do have the, the um, the stove fan it does go outside it doesn't it doesn't come up on the inside like like some models this one just exhausts outside which is really nice and it does have lights in here also which which helps sometimes at night uh, over here you do have the knife we, we did not use this we just um, we left this area clear because it's easier when you open the stove so we didn't want to crowd the area. Um, all the windows, they open for ventilation. All these awnings, um, these uh, balances, I wasn't sold out on them, but they're, they're nice. They hide the, all the, the shades. So it's kind of like nice to have up here. You have some storage where we, we we used for teas and coffee. All the the cabinets have this um, this closure that it, it won't open um, during travel times. They're very good. Lots of storage up here. These lights are controlled 
here so if you don't want a lot of lights this window is like amazing we that was the best um we we can see everything at the campsite um we do have the blinds here too for privacy they go all the way down so you have lots of privacy especially at night during the day uh, you don't have to worry because the the windows are dark tint this is the pantry uh, very very deep so we, we did put um, some uh, extra shelving up there so we don't lose all that up vertical space lots of uh, storage here here you can keep a tiny trash can or eat, because it has an opening to the outside so you, if you keep a tiny um, what, uh, trash can here you can just dispose of it from the outside you don't have to come inside of the camper or you can keep things like uh, sodas and water and you can access it on travel days um, all the drawers have uh, they, they don't come off they're, they're a little bit hard to open and that's good because on travel days you don't want these to come open and get stuck on your on your slide here uh, on this slide in the living room is where the the couch and the refrigerator is this is a 12 volt refrigerator only it's wonderful it it's like it cools so quickly and it holds it holds the the cold real well we're able to keep the fridge running on travel days only with solar power but uh, when it's hooked up to the pickup it also uses some of that power this slide there's only carpet a little bit of carpet on the slides and and that's that's not bad it's just to keep um cold and hot it's it's, it's very good like keeps creatures away also like bugs um the 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 couch is a full um uh, uh sl couch it, it it, it's a recliner couch, but the middle part goes so you can actually lay down on it. So that's a nice feature. It doesn't have um, seat heaters, but it goes up and down um, the the lumbar support only. This these controls are for the lumbar support, and the both recliners recline fully. We got rid of the table that came with it because it was a very cumbersome and long table and it prevented you from getting uh, in and out of the couch easily. So we got this little table instead, and it's very sturdy. Right now, it, it's not sturdy because it's over the couch, the, the carpet on the slide, but it's, it's a very sturdy table. All these windows open. Uh, this one opens regular, it's like a, a two paint window. All the blinds are the soft closed blinds, which is very nice. Um, the TV, it's, it's pretty good. It's not very big, but, um, uh, when you're sitting on the couch is like the perfect distance. This fireplace is nice. Um, it does give you, um, nice heat. Um, we've used it a couple times when it was chilly outside. The sound system is is very basic, um, but it does have a CD player and DVD player, so you can watch movies. We had like a collection of like 50 movies that we put on a folder, and that was very nice. You can also uh, connect an outside player if you want through the US, the, um, the, this kind of cable, I forgot the name. Um, this sound system it does have um, one good thing is that you can separate uh, you can listen uh, inside in the bedroom or outside and you can separate the zones outside it has very nice speakers there we used it a lot it has the Z3 which is the zone for outside and it controls uh, you can set a, a different um, volume for outside than inside and that was a nice feature we like that the trailer did also come with um this um the the wheel when you fill up your tires it tells you the pressure of the tires in 
inside of the truck when you're driving. So if one of your tires were to go flat or start going flat, you would see it. You see, it keeps like toggling be between all the wheels. And we keep that in the truck on travel days, as well as the camera. We have a camera and this you connect it to the truck um, to one of those uh, cigarette lighter um, ports and you can watch the back of the trailer. It's very useful when you're, uh, when you're uh, changing lanes. Um, this one is the control for the radio. This is the control for the TV. And this is the control for the fireplace. And usually we keep them right here on, on the armrests, which are very nice. There's two armrests, one there, one here, and you, there, you can fit a lot of stuff on these armrests, as well as behind the couch. Behind the couch is like big, big storage place. You can store like um, chairs and extra chairs and rugs and stuff. Um, let me see, do we go through the whole kitchen? The kitchen's very spacious, um, very, very easy to, um, to cook in this kitchen, watch TV, and, it, and it's very, very, it insulates it real good from the rest of the trailer. You can just close the bathroom door, and you will close the bathroom door, and then one, one can watch TV or cook and not bother the other. Uh, another good thing about this trailer also is that all of the the um, furnace vents are on the walls. There, there's nothing on the floors. That's a very I I think is a very luxurious option. Uh, you don't you don't see any uh, of those vents uh, on the floor. Here you control the, it's, it's very basic and it looks very backwards, but it's it's pretty good because it's very, you just put, if you want heat, you put heat and cool, and then you control the, the, the fan, which we usually just leave it on low auto, or you can have the fan on all the time. Uh, if you're cooking or if something is smelling, you can just have the fan on high or low. Oh, we just leave it on low auto. It's the, we found to be the best. Uh, all the lights are also controllable. You, you can you can have more lights or less lights. You just click them. Over here on this light, we have an extra one also. It, it, it works. It, it, it's good if you have, um, if you're doing some work or reading on the couch and you don't want to turn all of the other lights, you can just turn this light over here. Uh, the bathroom, it is a mid bathroom, which I really wanted because it gives you a lot more floor space in the bathroom. And, and it, it shields uh, the bathroom from the living area. Um, the ba It's a corner shower, which is pretty spacious. Um, we change, we put in this um, shower, which is much better. It's one of those oxygenic, um, shower heads much much better this RV did come with this shower miser which is um, if you're dry camping you flip this here and it keeps uh, it heats all the water in, in in the pipes until it gets here so you don't, you don't get that whole pipe filled with cold water when you turn your shower um, it, it's a nice feature uh, you just have to be careful you, you always keep it off on the off position like that if you keep it on the on position over here it keeps circulating and it starts filling your uh fresh water tank it might be a good thing because then you if, if you don't want to put a hose to your fresh water tank you can just use that shower um the doors do lock they're very nice um it's a very private shower um you, you can just close it for travel days and um, they will go nowhere. The, the medicine cabinet is 
is very good. You can fit a lot of um, things in here, products, and they have a lip so they don't fall out on travel days. That was very good. We had like little baskets here where we kept like little washcloths and and um, soap and things like that. Um, the This is a very, very nice um, uh, faucet. It's a one control faucet hot and cold the the toilet once you close the door um the bathroom is pretty spacious you, you can dry yourself here you're not going to be knocking your elbows on the walls or on the doors um it was nice it came with this i it's kind of like in a weird place but it's fine um we installed the toilet paper holder this is a regular it's a porcelain um a toilet but uh it's just a regular rv toilet and you use it with your foot in the back of the toilet there's a lot of storage which uh it was very nice we we we, we fit all of our towels extra clothing iron you know like things like that and clean some cleaning supplies uh very nice um bathroom and you have the light over here and the good thing about this bathroom also it does have a, a, a max air fan which is amazing uh, you open it and it's it's fully covered i don't know if you can see it's fully covered so you can use it in rainy days it it, it, it rained pretty hard a couple times and we we were able to live the that uh open and the fan it has three you can do one two three or four which is the max and that moves a lot of air um very very nice the bathroom the bathroom is on a sliding door that you can lock over here for travel base um it does have a second exit which I, I, it was a plus for me. I really need one of that. Here's your control for your solar panel. It's a hundred watt solar panel and it trickles energy and, and, and it recharges your battery if you're not connected to uh, to power. It's very nice. You get to see here the battery is a hundred percent. It's sunny out there. This is your light. This is just a little pegboard we installed. It's just um, with those uh, not sticky on the walls. They don't harm the uh, the wallpaper or anything. Uh, this is your control over here. You see the the, the furnace vent is on the wall, and you control uh, all your um, breakers here, and they're all very well labeled. Um, they did a nice job labeling um, all of our breakers. In the bedroom, it has a slide for the queen. It's a full, it's a, it's a real queen size bed. Um, it does have um, two little windows, which helps. Sometimes you hear a noise outside, or you just want to see if it's sunny or rainy. You just open your blinds, and you can see it. Uh, the headboard's attached to the wall. There's a uh, storage above. Very nice. We kept like documents, letters, and stuff. A picture books and stuff up there um, there's some tiny uh, little uh, side tables in there just big enough to put the cell phone or gl reading glasses there's just reading uh, lights just above that you control you just raise your arm and, and click those um, again all of the lights here are um, you can you can have more lights or less lights you just click them. Here you have the TV backer. You can install um, a, a small TV here if if somebody likes to watch TV in bed or, or a computer screen or something. We did put some more hooks up there and up there just for, for hats and uh, robe or something like that. Um, let me see. The, the closet is very, very large which is these are just like little hanging um for shoes and 
for some sweaters. But then it has a very large closet that you can uh, hang a lot of clothes. And in the back you can hang some purses or hats. Uh, underneath the closet there's two drawers and they're pretty deep and tall drawers. They are uh, amazing. We, we were able to fit all of our clothes in here and um, shoes also. Um, uh, and there's um, USB ports and power outlet here. The bed does um, raise up but you don't have to because there are like two deep drawers over here and they are very deep where you can raise this up and then you can see it's divided it, the drawers and then you have that outside storage you can access so you can keep things deep here that you need to access either inside or outside like uh, i kept our stick vacuum here so it was easy to access um from from the inside without having to go outside into the storage um again the view from the bedroom very very spacious bedroom uh, easy to get dressed in the mornings uh, two sides on the closet for him and for her or one for you the door overall um this camper has been perfect for us uh but when we liked it so much we decided to go bigger and we because we have grandchildren now and we want them to come over and s spend the night with us and this couch yeah, in a pinch, they can sleep here, but we felt we wanted uh, a bigger trailer with a bunk house for them. So we, we went with a 41 foot now. This one is a, only a 25 foot trailer. Uh, we were very happy until grandkids <laughs> came. So it would be ideal for um, a single person or a couple wanting to travel.